Welcome to Darkness Falls, episode two. I'm King of the Zeds. In this episode, we're setting up for success, getting food, drink, and shelter in place, ready for the onslaught of our first horde in a few days. And then later on, we make a discovery that I did not see coming. But before we get to that, tomorrow marks exactly one year since I uploaded the very first video on this channel. So I just want to say thank you to every one of you who's watched, liked, and left comments so far. This actually is the 189th video on the channel, which looking back feels like a crazy number for just one year but I heard somebody once say that I'd rather be prolific than good <laughs> I guess that's how I started out but hopefully over the course of being prolific I've gotten a little bit better and become a little bit good to improving along the way but I've kept it up because I love making these videos trying new ideas and having fun with it and a big part of what makes it fun has been reading your comments and getting to know you guys along the way so again thank you for being here and here's to the future now, on with the episode. Since uploading the first episode, thanks to you guys' helpful comments on that episode, I have come to the conclusion that our priority for today, for this episode, probably this next sort of two to three days in preparation for day seven's hoard, my main priority needs to be getting set up for food and drink and finding a safe place to cook said food and drink and basically just to hole up overnight so that we don't have to spend the night on the streets now, I have also been made aware that bad things happen when you run out of food. So I'm going to do all I can to uh, make sure that that doesn't happen. Let's cook a bit of food on here now. I've got a little bit of meat. But what I'm going to do right now, first thing, is head out and try and find some apple trees, um, orange trees, maybe some carrots and stuff that uh, apparently you can find. Like, what's this? What's that? Tomato. Because... If we look here, food doesn't give much food, water, and yeah, this rotten food chance. Also, bad things happen when you get uh, food poisoning and uh, when you get sick. So apparently if we cook this, let's just have a quick test. Need a cooking grill. Okay. Have I got a... I thought I had one on there. Never mind. Let's put this on here because I have got that. And have I got that? Yes. All right. Looks like I need to find a grill because, yeah, that will remove the rotten food chance. And apparently we can turn certain things into good drinks as well. Also, hang on, let's have a look at this murky water. Can I turn that into water right now? Yes, I can. That's good. Uh, yeah, so I'm going to try and find fruits, vegetables, that kind of thing that I can make juices and drinks with. Because I think I did find a drinks recipe. What was it? Apple juice or something? I'm pretty sure I got that recipe. Oh, and I need a mortar and pestle for that. Yeah, and also another quick thing that I want to just double check. Yeah, crafting clay bowls apparently is a good way to get water. So let's get some clay. Can I just turn that into a bowl in my hand? It appears that I can. So it's going to take a minute. That's quite a long time. But probably worth doing so let me just get a bit more let's go and have a quick bite to eat hopefully this is ready and all right let's hold this bowl apparently we can get tree sap by holding a bowl or using a bowl against a tree Oh, that just happened. What did I do? I think I just right clicked. So what does sap do? Good as a sugary drink. Doesn't appear to do anything for me. But apparently, it's good for stamina. Now before we head out, one more thing that I just wanted to show you. Pack Mule, I added a point here because adding a point gives us seven more slots without being encumbered. And then I think I added another point just into one of my other... Uh, combat skills. I can't remember which one that was. I should have written it down, but never mind. What can I get you today? Ah, thank okay, you. let's bang that on there. Give it another couple of bits of wood. I can make my grilled tomato. So what is this single tomato good for? Eight food. That That is actually pretty good. Okay, so based on that, I'm just going to spend a little bit of time 
wandering about trying to find some more tomatoes maybe get some more water with the uh, with the clay bowls i think i did see some water down here maybe i'll venture that way to pick up some water after i've crafted some bowls and uh, yeah anyway i'll see what i can hunt and gather and then we can reconvene to check out my undoubtedly bountiful loot All right, so I've just been scratching around the local vicinity and yeah, it appears that things that grow in the ground are quite abundant. But I didn't come across any sort of fruit trees or anything, so that might be a bit more of an issue. However, I have got enough stuff to start cooking with. So let's see, got a bunch of carrots, found a potato. Don't really want to use water on my boiled eggs, so we'll leave those eggs for now. Grilled tomatoes, we'll cook those. I don't think I can turn any of this into juice just yet. What's tapioca then? Okay, that's for a recipe later. All right, let's see what a grilled yucca does. We'll just do one of those, just to check. So how much food? Yeah, this uh, these root vegetables go from providing two food, raw, and potentially gonna poison us, to eight food, and all delicious and everything. So let's uh, scoff some of these. So carrot eight, potato eight, and yucca eight. Oh, this is this is great news. Okay, all right, let's, let's probably eat all of these. But anyway, let me just wait for these to cook, sort my inventory out, and then what we're going to do is just have a little wander around town to see if we can find a building that looks like it might provide us some half decent shelter for the next few days. I don't know, maybe one of the roofs that we uh, actually went on yesterday, the one with that shitbird on the top. <laughs> Uh, on the, was it the funeral home? Oh no, it was the cafe. Yeah, maybe that might be even, even a good place to uh, just have a first little base. So let's check that out anyway, and then we can go from there. Here we go, this is it, isn't it? Dick's Diner. So, it's pretty safe. No zombies are going to get up here. What do we have? There's a interesting hole there. Uh, and yeah, bog standard roof. I mean, pretty safe, I suppose. Not too far from the trader, and just on the edge, next to the um, next to the forest, so we can nip out and get a few fruit and veggies when we need to. I think we might just move some stuff here and make this our sort of little base of operations for the meantime. And then I think for the day seven horde, we'll probably take over another building and somehow slap a tightrope up to a roof position and use that as our first horde base and just see how that goes. Okay, I think we're in a pretty good position right now, relatively safe. We've got a little bit of food and drink at least for the next day or so. So let's have a little wander about town. Maybe uh, dip into a POI, get some loot, and think about if there's one that we can uh, just hop up onto the roof for the first horde in a few days. Ooh, fucking hell. Level 27 wrench, I will take that. Thank you very much. Do you know what, this, uh, this passing gas, this roof is as good as any. I'm tempted just to maybe uh, pop in here, clear it out, and then claim the roof as our own. What do you reckon? Get nice and easy. One zombie at a time. Oh my goodness, look at that. A broken vending machine with a whole bunch of goodies. Uh, so yeah, these cans as well. Apparently we can cook these. So I, I, I know that in the first episode I left behind a can of soup because it gave food poisoning. But... Apparently we can cook it to resolve that situation. So yeah, that's what we'll be doing. All right, we are good. Sweet. 
super corn seed. Okay. Don't recall which POI this is, so I'm not sure where to go. I might just get my gun out and make sure it's loaded in case around one of these corners is a bloody dog. It appears very quiet so far. Oh shit in hell. That's a lot of zombies. Oh, and there's a spitter as well. Let's see if we can just let one out at a time. Not sure how long that door's going to hold. Oh, somebody's really lighting up the joint. Oh, it's a big mama. Can we get some arrows into her? Okay, gun time. I need to get something in between me and her. She's down. But she's not out. Whoa! Fucking hell. <laughs> I've just remembered I don't need to make her out. I just need to get her down. Because she'll take herself out. Oh, damn. Level 54 stone axe. And what's this? A tanning rack? Okay, I'll take that. Don't know what it does just yet. Was that the loot room? Yes, it was. Sweet. Oh, nice. I'll wear that. And take that. I think we're good. All right, let's just pop back. Empty our pockets up on the roof of Big Dicks, which is only the next building over. And then let's come over here and see what we might need to do to turn this into a makeshift horde base just with a simple tightrope setup. All right, here we are. So wood on the fire. Oh, look at this. Okay, so we actually need a couple of different things. So a clay bowl, a can of sham and a can of stock. It's going to take a minute to find out what that gives us, but that's got to be... Got to be better than the sum of the parts. Am I willing to sacrifice a jar of water just to see what that turns out like? Yes, I think I am. And let's have a look. Cooked sham soup. Very nice. 20 food, 10 water. I think, uh, I think we deserve one of those right now, don't we? And what's this? Max oh, okay. So, uh, cornbread only gives us four food, but it gives a stamina bonus of 10. It's good to know. All right, we're getting there. We're learning. We're learning. This is a whole new system to get used to, but I like it. All right, we're getting there. Where's the sun in the sky? Pretty low. Okay. I think until the sun goes down, I'm just going to head out and chop some trees and uh, maybe get some clay. How do we... Do we still make cobblestone in the same way? Clay and stone. Yeah, all right. Let's just spend the rest of today until sundown. Just digging and chopping. And getting our craft on. Okay, quick interjection overnight. I think I figured out how to craft a forge. So workbenches. There's two levels of workbenches. Workbench is one, workbench is two. The requirement for this is tool crafting one. Unless I have the laborer class, which I do not. Now, how do we get tool crafting one? We go up here. And where is it? Tool crafting. Because I've been using my tools, I am currently here. Oh no, actually, it's based on player level. So because I'm player level five, I can add a point here to unlock tool crafting one. You get the added benefit of tools below quality 11 will no longer degrade on repair. Didn't know that was a thing. So I guess when I repair this level 54 stone axe, that's going to go down somewhat. So actually, do you know what? Let's test it. Have I got any stone on me? Or do I use it all? <laughs> I've used it all to uh, to make my cobblestone. Okay, we'll test that later. Uh, but yeah, that should mean that if I go down here, workbenches, I can now unlock this when I get my next point. And then with that, I can then hopefully, if I've understood this correctly, forge. Where's the forge? Do you know what? I'm reading this. Hammer and forge and forge ahead. 
I'm not so sure. Let me reread that. What is it actually? <laughs> What's it actually telling us? Workbenches. Learn how to craft various workbenches. Oh no, it's here. Oh, bollocks. I've put it in the wrong place. Okay, well, never mind. I'm going to have to do workbenches anyway. But that's the, <laughs> that's the general gist. Okay, I think I know where we're going a little bit now. So chemistry station, what do you need for that? Tool crafting three, science crafting two. Yeah, okay. So that's a bit later on. All right, I think we're getting the hang of it. Anyway, I'll uh, get back to just sitting out on the roof under the starry night sky and we'll catch up in a minute. All right, that's looking pretty light to me. So overnight, I just, in a little mini fit of paranoia, I just kind of put a roof over my uh, over my workstation here and my chests. I've sorted the chests out into uh, cooked food and medical ingredients and then just other shit. So maybe I'll build this out and sort of really uh, protect it a bit better. But for now, let's take this opportunity to get over to our other rooftop and start planning our little horde base that we're going to be building and I've just got a stone here as well so I can test repairing this stone axe so how many points here is it going to lose what was that five not great but I suppose we can live with it we got it for free anyway now I might just grab a couple of bits of wood before we uh, go ahead and start building because I don't think I've got enough to fill in as many uh, frame shapes as I've got. So let me do that now. I don't know how we get up onto the roof now. Did we actually even go around the back before? I don't think we did. Is there a dog? Yes. I'm tempted to use a good bullet on you. What? How am I missing that? Okay, what's up here? Nice big roof. Any shit birds? Doesn't look like it. Why not? Let's just, um, I mean, we've got to pick a side. So I'll go here and I'll start building. And um, yeah, I'll just set up, if you remember my Alpha 21 series back in the uh, early couple of hordes there, we just added a little cage and then put a simple tightrope going out to it from some ladders so we'll just replicate that and then uh, see <laughs> see how long it takes us all right let me do that okay so this is as far as I've got until I ran out of wood so you can see what's going on there I've just built a little platform out from the roof and then added a cage on the end and then we'll just have a bit of a tightrope going out this way down and then we'll have a ladder probably about here or something. And then so the zombies are going to come up the ladder along the tightrope and then fight us at this fighting position. Now I'm hoping that there are going to be no surprises. And we, I'm, I mean, I'm hoping we're not going to get birds this early. But I have heard that Kane is a bit of an evil genius. So I don't know what to expect really. I probably need to over engineer if anything. So yeah, I'm hoping that those extra supports that I put in under there are going to hold everything up. Maybe I'll wait before I upgrade the rest of this until I've got the tightrope in and there's a bit more support for the whole structure. Um, but yeah, this is this is how far we've got. I'll head off and get some more resources just from the forest over there and then we'll be back for phase two of this base build. Ooh, found my first orange tree. It was that. Okay, the situation has manifested itself. We seem to have a little bit of a wandering horde following us. I'm not sure if it's actually a wandering horde or just a bunch of zombies that happened to spawn right near me while I was out in the forest gathering supplies. So, just quickly going to sneak up on the roof and see if we can lose them. Alrighty, here's what I'm going to do. In hope to lose these zombies that have uh, spawned all around our base and we need to get building with the horde base, I'm just going to pop back over to the trader 
and um, see if there's any loot. I didn't really loot his compound, so I'm just going to see if there's any building supplies. Oh, and I'll take that nice little shovel there as well. That's good. Nice, that engine might be a, worth a few quid. Inventory, sell the engine. No way, we're going to need that just yet. And unfortunately, he hasn't got anything good for us. Safe travels. Okay, while we're here, I will just maybe pick up a mission. And we can do that either today if we have time, or we can do that tomorrow. Well, there's always Shamway up the road. You can try looting. What's this place? Garage first construction. I'm not sure if this passing gas one is our is our base, so we'll avoid that. Right, let's try this place. It might have some uh, little problem. building supplies for us as well. God's let's have a look. Where is it? Oh, hang on. And who's this? Dr. Anna. We might have to go and investigate that. I have no idea what that might be. And let's see. Oh, it's nearly 5pm. Man. How did the day get away from us that much? Really want to get this base done today, get at least the tightrope up, so that if any zombies do decide to follow us, we can just lead them up and uh, use the horde base as practice. Yeah, let's get over there, get that done, and hopefully those zombies that were all milling around will be gone. <laughs> we can only hope. One down. There's a few more to go, but we've got a couple of fences we can use to put in between us. Back off. <laughs> Just stand above him and rain down. Big Mama's going to be a spitter. Oh my god. <laughs> That's the sweetest shot I think I've ever done. There we are, tracked in the rest of them now. Got to be careful. Come on. Oh, my club's broken. Who's first? Come on. Do you know what? This is something that's taken a bit of getting used to as well with Darkness Falls, is that you don't get the little XP pop up. So you don't necessarily know when you've killed a zombie. Unless you get a loot bag like that. Stamina, come on. Ah, missed it. Alright, we can club these guys, surely. Come on. I think that does it. Oh my god. Yeah, I'm not surprised I'm thirsty. Let's have one of these lovely golden rods we made a minute ago. And then just run over here, pick up this loot bag before I forget it. Nice couple of drinks. Ooh, scrap machete. Okay, it's the first time I've seen one of those. I don't know, I kind of feel like I'm invested in clubs already, but maybe we can uh, do something with that at some point. Now, let me upgrade that. So I think I should have enough. What have I got here? 246, so that'll give me like 24 cobblestone upgrades. So let me get this done. I'm 
that is pretty much all we need. I don't know how long this would last in its current form, even if I upgraded it to cobble. So we'll probably see if we can get a bit more, uh, a bit more width to this, but let's just get the basics in place first. So. And I've got 37 concrete. I thought I had more than that, but that is, hang on, it's not enough. How much do I need to be able to upgrade this cobblestone then? Yeah, all right, well, how much cobble have we got there? 56, let's just do these bits. And then, yeah, I'm gonna need to put a little bit on here just in case they try to sort of get up on top of this roof from here. But I think this is pretty much the base. So let me just add another couple of ladders so I can get up without having to jump over and around the corner. that'll do for now and here we are we'll just fight them off as they come this way shall I see if we can uh, test it with that dude over there let me see if I can get a hit on him missed oh. <laughs> that didn't the moment of truth is he gonna path to our ladder yes he is and here we go former thug off your pop mate yeah I think this will work as long I mean yeah darkness falls hordes apparently or zombies in general are going to do more damage than in vanilla so I don't know how long this might last but at the very least here's what I'm hoping is that even if they bring this shit down oh look he's, he's going into rage mode yeah that's not good we do need to be higher to, uh, to prevent that from happening Mm, all right, that's an issue. I guess we just have to deal with it. We're kind of pot committed now. Loot loot bag. And I got it. <laughs> all right, the sun is up. That must mean it's morning. And uh, call me stupid, but I just stuck a couple of doors in front of my shit here just to give a little bit of protection just in case any birds come and spit at me while I'm sitting here overnight. Yeah, so I think we will go and, uh, and do that mission first thing and yeah, see how much time we've got left after that. Oh yeah, hang on, Dr. Anna, we'll go and find out what that's all about as well. I'm guessing it's going to be a friendly person, considering that it's uh, just appeared on the map like that. Yeah, once we've done this mission, we can see how much time we've got to uh, give the horde base a bit of extra juice and build it out a little bit more. 176 meters to this mission. I don't really want to be going through the middle of town, but that is the straightest, most direct route. If we can avoid gardens that have got dogs in them, that would be good. So far, so good. Fuck. Shit. I fucking called it. Oh my god. Reload. Oh no. Where is it? Oh, bloody infected. Unbelievable. Unbelievable. Right, well the good news is I'm not actually that much damaged. Uh, let's have one of these honeys and hope it takes. Apparently there's a 50% chance that it does. That one didn't. Oh yeah, that one did. Okay. Right. That one was my own fault because I knew it was going to happen. I said it was going to happen and then it happened. Nice. Let's uh, see if we can get some building supplies while we're here. Right, let's just quickly see how many stones we can get. How oh shit, something right behind me. Somebody else coming. Oh no, that's a screamer. We do not need that. Oh, 
Oh, I'm gonna have to run. Is she dead? Yes. Alright, this ain't the best situation to be in. Oh my god, they're gonna blow this bloody truck up. This is a tool and die set. It's for a crafting station that I don't know anything about just yet. Uh, one thing that I did learn overnight is uh, that to craft a apple juice, for some reason I need a mortar and pestle. So uh, yeah, I think my next point, which I just got, I'm going to stick into, where is it? Over here we have basic farming tips, level one, which unlocks the mortar and pestle. Okay, it uh, looks like we're going in here to actually pick up the package. There's quite a lot of uh, stone around here, so I'm definitely going to try to remember to not leave it behind. There's a big mama. She going to spit if I don't kill her straight away, so let's reload everything. Come on, one more. Oh, shit, it's in hell. Okay, that might be this POI clear. So I'm going to just risk it for a biscuit and jump down here. That guy's still alive. How's he still alive? And we are clear. So where's the bloody package then? Aha, there it is. And that is mission complete. Let's get the rest of our loot. Alright, so that was a few minutes well spent, I think, just gathering some mainly stone and clay. Got 122 clay and 600 odd stone so pretty good now before we head back and turn our mission in just want to see what this dr anna is down here uh okay this is bizarre oh this place is uh about is she underground what the hell uh, what the fuck is this place <laughs> I don't know what to make of this where's the uh, god I'm miles away where's the person Here she You're, is. Uh, feeling under the weather. I've got just what the doctor Dr. ordered. Dr. Anna, have you got any work? No, I don't trust you. Go and help out Eve. Who's Eve? Is that the one who's at the trader? Must be. Uh, okay, well, I guess this is uh, part of the story and all that stuff. What? What is all this? Diazepam? Key cards? Oh, this is very bizarre. Okay. I guess we go and do some jobs for somebody else before we come back here and uh, continue this. Alright, well, there's a whole aspect to this game that I have absolutely no idea about. Elmo found his way. Oh, what's that? Hunting rifle? No, a pipe rifle. What's better? I don't know. I'll grab it and figure it out in a minute. Range damage 40. Range damage 62. 
All right, we'll bung that down there for now. Maybe give it a little test on the way back to see the trailer. All right, well, let's let's go do that now. Or should we try our hunting rifle on Mo over here? How accurate is it going to be? How close do I need to get? Ooh. <laughs> Did I get him? <laughs> That's pretty savage. Let's try this dude. Oh, I think I missed. I'm enjoying this. No, I didn't miss. He's just hard. Awesome. I'll take that engine. That was a couple of hundred dollars for free. Here is your reward. I owe you one. Generic schematic. Used for making notes while building complex items. I don't know what that is. I can probably use a better pipe pistol at this point more effectively. So we'll grab that. I mean, these aren't going to be that rare, right? I think that's all for now, Mr. Bob. What are you looking for? What's this person's name? Doesn't say. But check these jobs out. So do you have any jobs? The man eater, uh, nurse you back to health, lady killer. I seem to remember Can these being you? the kind of mission that used to get like back in the early uh, PlayStation version, which is what I first started playing this game on. Kill some male zombies. Yeah, this has got to be the added stuff that that doctor that we just went to see was talking about, right? So should we do a few of these missions? Maybe we won't get it done now. I don't know the exact time, but if not today, then first thing tomorrow morning. Uh, we'll kill some male zombies. We'll accept that. Got to go 450 meters to do it, which just happens to be over there where I was gathering some uh, some resources yesterday. But let's have a quick check of the time. See the inventory: 2:30, 2:40. Goodbye. I think what might be the sensible thing to do is uh, head back over to the horde base and just do some extra work on that, and then maybe go and do that mission in the morning. Uh, by the time we finish that mission, we can head back and uh, see what the first Darkness Falls horde has got in store for us. So with that said, I'm just going to go over to the uh, the rooftop base, dump all this stuff into storage that I'm carrying because I'm massively over encumbered. And then head out, grab some more resources, make some cobblestone and then extend the, uh, the platform just on the tightrope at the Horde base. Yeah, I'll do that off camera and then we'll catch up in the next episode. But for now, thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed this episode. I'm really looking forward to uh, getting really stuck into Darkness Falls. The, the more time I'm spending with it now, the more things seem to be kind of opening up and I'm starting to learn a little bit more about how this is all working. And yeah, it's all fun. It's all new and fresh, at least to me anyway. I know it's been out for a while, but that'll do it for this episode. Like I said, thanks for watching and we'll catch you in the next one.